What is an annoying myth people still believe? That myth about how NASA invented ballpoint pens for space while the USSR just used pencils. Basically completely untrue. If you lift your hands above your head while pregnant you will strangle the baby. I am sure it was started by smart women who didn't want to do all the housework while pregnant and tired. I still hear it every now and again. Black belts have to register their fists as weapons. I can't believe I was dumb enough to fall for that. That if you touch a baby bird, its mother will abandon it because of the smell. Birds actually have a very crappy sense of smell. Cracking your knuckles makes them bigger, gives you arthritis. This is an ongoing battle between myself and my older co-workers. HTTPS www.hopkinsarthritis.org slash arthritis dash news slash knuckle dash cracking dash q dash a dash from slash Fish only have a 5 second memory. My fish are fed automatically on a timer and they know dinner time better than my goddamn cat. People think bats are blind. They aren't. That companies, can't, say that you were fired, or why you were fired, by law. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure visible from space. First of all, it's not. And second, other ones are. That historical armor was basically useless. Only increasing the chance of maybe deflecting a blow if you were lucky. You still see it in movies, shows and games where a knife or sword or arrow will go through armor like it's cardboard. In reality armor was very useful. Very good armor. Like a knight's suit of plate. Made the wearer virtually invincible. The best plate could stop even early firearms a knight in full plate and wielding a shield was. Pretty much the tank of the medieval battlefield. Doubly so if on horseback. Specialized weapons and a concerted effort was needed to defeat one. Although typically no one would try to kill a knight since you can't ransom a corpse. But even simple gambesons, which were made from layers of fabric, could resist a sword cut. High quality gambesons could resist all but the strongest cuts from specialized cutting swords. Also, that swords were super heavy. A typical one-handed arming sword from the Middle Ages weighed around 3 pounds. 4 max. A two-handed longsword could get up to 5 pounds. Rapiers weighed around the same as other swords. Which is contrary to popular belief. Yes. Swinging around a 3 to 4 pounds object would tire someone out. But the people doing so were generally more fit than the people reading this thread. That certain animal, parts, have healing, magical properties. Like tiger whiskers protect the wearer or rhino horn cures impotence and hangovers. People with OCD just repeatedly wash their hands and like things clean and organized. This is how it presents in some people. There is so much more to this mental illness that people aren't aware of that lead to people not getting diagnosed or help. In my country people believe that if you're pregnant and cut your hair, the baby will be born blind LMAO. You have to wait 24 hours before filing a missing persons report. Scholars in the Middle Ages didn't believe the earth was flat. The ancient Greeks knew that shit was false. The myth of the flat earth was a post-romanticism fancy in pop culture. Not a serious scholarly movement. That line from Men in Black has pissed me off ever since I learned the truth. You can detox your body from toxins and parasites by drinking certain teas or taking some weird medication. Repeated diarrhea and frequent urination doesn't indicate toxins leaving your body. Your liver and kidneys do the job.
if your liver is not functioning or you have a kidney disorder. Obviously you need help but it won't be teas that someone on Instagram is boasting about. Many people still believe hymens are like plastic food seals that cover up the hole and get popped when you have sex for the first time. And if a girl doesn't bleed she's not a virgin. The highest tax rate means your entire income is taxed at that rate. That cutting your hair off makes it grow in thicker. At some point. A viral video allegedly proved that the beg buttons at crosswalks are just placebos. Some of them are. But most of them really do add a cycle for pedestrians to get a walk signal. You should use them regardless. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.